All right, another example of the intermediate value theorem. The question asks, can the intermediate value theorem, IVT, be applied to find an x-intercept on the interval 1 to 2 for the function f of x equals x to the fourth minus 6x squared plus 9? So, again, here's my function. It is a polynomial, x to the fourth, x squared, 9. That is a polynomial. So it is continuous everywhere. So it doesn't really matter what numbers I use. So in this case, 1 is my a value, 2 is my b value, and I'm ready to keep going. So here I go. I want to see, is there an x-intercept? Again, x-intercept is where y equals 0. Is there going to be an x-intercept necessarily between 1 and 2? Now, fun fact, I already know that there is an x-intercept between 1 and 2. The question is, does the intermediate value theorem help me with that? So let's find out. What I'm going to do is plug in A. I'm going to plug in 1 into this and see what happens. Then I'm going to plug in B. I'm going to plug in 2 and see what happens. So here I go. 1 to the 4th minus 6 times 1 squared plus 9. 1 to the 4th is 1. 6 times 1 squared should be 6 plus 9. All right, so... That's a negative 6. 1 minus 6 makes negative 5, plus 9 makes 4. All right, there's my first number. Now I'm going to plug in 2 and see what happens. So here I go. 2 to the 4th minus 6 times 2 squared plus 9. 2 to the 4th. Uh, 2 squared is 4, so 2 to the 4th is 16. Then I'm going to do that 6 times 4, which is 24, plus 9. All right, so... If I add 16 and 9, I get 25. If I subtract 24 from that, I get 1. Question. Do I have a positive number and a negative number? Your answer, no. So, I am not guaranteed to find an x-intercept where it's 0 between them. Now, your question to me is, but Mr. Harold, I thought the intermediate value theorem helped you with stuff like that. It does a lot, but you have to have a positive number and a negative number because the intermediate value theorem, the intermediate value theorem says we have to have an intermediate value. So the numbers that I have right now are one and four. So if I had said, is there a number that's three? Yes, there's going to be an X value that makes three because it's between one and four. Is there going to be an X value that makes two? Yes, because it's between one and four. But Am I guaranteed to have an x value that makes zero? No. I know that there is one, but I'm not guaranteed that there will be one. I know there is one, but the intermediate value theorem doesn't help unless I have an intermediate, something between these two numbers, okay? So that's what I'm getting at here. Again, I know there is one that exists. I know I can find it. In fact, I think it's about 1.73-ish. It's the square root of three, honestly. But Again, I know one exists, but the intermediate value theorem does not guarantee it. The intermediate value theorem only guarantees there's going to be a number that makes between one and four. So hopefully that helps clear up misconceptions. Again, make sure you watch out. It has to be between these X values, and it's going to produce a number between these Y values. Hopefully that helps. Good luck. Ask me any questions you got.